Good morning, folks. Welcome back. It's John Petty Bob recording right now. It's 10 minutes past 6 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday morning, the 17th day of August. Get a good breakfast yourselves. Most important meal of the day. Now, truth and justice is always supposed to be the most important thing. Madam Justice has always seen a scale of justice with blindfold on so she can judge with impartiality. That's what that means. This morning's Halifax Herald, front page, just delivered about a half hour ago. We're excellent delivery folks here. Mass shooting. Senior Mountie contradicts Lucky at hearing. Now, Lucky is the, this here lady here, who is the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, Brenda Lucky, attends a news conference, blah, blah, blah. And headline this one back from June 30th, 2022, also from Halifax, Arles, denials of interference falling flat. Denials of interference falling flat. And I made a statement that if I was in a judge or jury, if, if I was a judge or I was in a jury, I just, there was a sneaky, unsincere look about this here lady. Sneaky, unsincere look. And that's a strong statement. And this here now is a picture that's about two and a half months old. Anyway, I, and I pointed out my video back several weeks ago. Here again this morning, we have in today, Wednesday, August 17th, Halifax Herald, mass shooting. Senior Mounty contradicts Lucky at hearing. The RCMP commissioner on April 20th, 2021, gave test of, excuse me, 2020, excuse me, 2020, 2020, 2020 gave priority to, quote, to promise to the Liberal government to disclose information about the weapons used during the Nova Scotia mass murder rampage at the expense of integrity. I repeat, the RCMP, RCMP commissioner in April 2020 gave priority, quote, to the promise, to the promise to, dis to the Liberal government to disclose information about the weapons used during the Nova Scotia mass murder rampage at the expense of the integrity of the RCP investigation a House of Commons committee heard yesterday, Tuesday the 16th. And it goes on here on the page A7, again today's Halifax Herald, the gentleman's name is the RCP Superintendent Darren Campbell. And the man looks, to my opinion, quite credible. He seems straightforward and uh, sincere looking. But let's look at the, forget his looks, let's look at what he has to say. In says here, quote, she said, she didn't seem to appreciate or recognize, he said, she didn't seem to appreciate or recognize the importance of maintaining the integrity of investigation. I'll repeat, de toi, in saying French for the third time. She didn't seem to recognize the importance of maintaining the integrity of investigation. Campbell, this is the gentleman here, it looks credible, a 32-year RCMP veteran told the Common Standing Committee on Public Salary and National Security that he explained during the conference call about how the disclosure would compromise the investigation. It's a powerful statement. Quote, it was on the heels of an explanation when I was provided information about this disclosure that this it was on the it was on the heels of that explanation where I was provided information that this bracket's disclosure was very important because this was about legislation that was going to make officers and the public safe, end of quote, Campbell said. So in other words, she wanted to push a politically correct stuff on gun control. And that has a place in a society, but not in this instance when the priority should have been for getting to the bottom of the horrific uh, mass murder at Porta Peak. Quote, in my opinion, this is RCMP Staff Sergeant Darren Campbell speaking. In my opinion, I would say that the commissioner felt the release of the firearm information was more important. End the quote. Fort paragraph, first column. End the quote. Allegations of political interference directed to RCMP 
with respect to the mass murder investigation became public with release of Campbell's notes from that April 28, 2020 meeting with Lucky and others that took place immediately after news briefing that lasted more than two hours. And they take, this is just horrible, horrible, that here you have Canadian RCMP commissioner, that means head cat, head dude she is, basically putting politically correctness for Justin Trudeau, as I refer to often as the curly-headed pot pusher, putting political, and uh, Bill Blair, who's the safety minister, whatever you call him, federally, uh, those birds putting the integrity of the investigation behind getting their politically correct BS out. And it's just wrong, folks. With that, I'm going to wrap this up. I encourage people to eat their breakfast. So you take a look at the video, share it far and wide, comment, subscribe, uh, whatever you want to do, that's fine. But it's clearly wrong. What this, what this dude, what this lady is doing here, and what this gentleman has publicly stated to a house under oath the House of Commons committee. It's wrong. It calls in question integrity of the whole investigation. With that, I gotta go. Wish you all the best. God bless. And get a good breakfast yourself. Thank you very much. Bye for now. COVID related. You know, there's been a lot of talk about what zero COVID has done to economic performance. I think there's a lot of truth to that, but there's also a lot of policy, we say missteps,